Hi. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? It's Joe D. Uh, here, another beer review, man. I, this was sent to me, uh, and, and this fan went through a ton of trouble to get this to me. So I promised that I would do a standalone review instead of doing it in the Share a Beer Show. So, And the Share a Beer Show is every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, by the way, right here on Google+. Plus. <laughs> you know, for those of you, I get asked a lot, how can I join the show? Um, just uh, make sure you're in my circle. You know what I'm saying? And the minute you're in my beer circle, then you'll you'll get an invite and you can join. Uh, just like this here, um, these live beer reviews are you know if you want to talk about this beer, we can we can you can definitely join in and, and talk about it. Whether you've had it or not, you might have heard something about it or this and that. You know, hey, you know we're in the virtual pub, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we can enjoy. Um, <clears throat> A little bit right off of the bottle, uh, Southern Tier Brewing is out of Lakewood, New York, which is uh, New York City area. Um, it said, uh, Warlock is brewed to enchant your palate uh, on its own and also to counterpoint uh, our Imperial Ale, Pumpkin. Um, make your own black magic by carefully pouring this Imperial Stout into a goblet. And they they say that all over the place on their website. They say having a goblet uh, on um, Beer Advocate, have it with a goblet. You know what I'm saying? Man, all I got is pint glass, so <laughs> that's going to have to do. The only goblet I have stays in that cabinet, and uh, that's where it's going to stay. Uh, so that, that cabinet is full, man. It's I don't know how tall that cabinet is. Five foot maybe, but it's full of beer glasses, man. Kind of collecting gla collectors' glasses, you know what I'm saying? So I do have a goblet in there uh, and collectors' bottles of, of different beers. Um, so I'm not gonna touch that goblet. This is good enough, man. It's standard pint glass, you know what I'm saying? Um, the cap is, you know, pretty standard southern tier cap. You know what I'm saying? You guys might or might not know by now. I haven't been doing reviews like I used to. Uh, for a while, <laughs> but uh, I make um, and I have several here. Uh, but I I keep these my caps and I make whoops whoa well, I'll pick that up later. But I save my caps and I make uh, magnets out of them and then I put them on my my beer fridge that's in my my man cave. So uh, this is a pretty standard Southern tier cap. It's you know nothing more fancy. It's just like their their logo there. Uh, and then on the front, it just says Imperial Stout Brewed with uh, pumpkins and natural flavor. Real quick here, let me see if I can uh, pull up the share screen here. Da, da, da. Uh, which one am I on here? There. Okay. There we go. Share the screen. Um, let me make sure to share the right one. <laughs> um, but uh, on Rate Beer, they have... Um, it has a 97 overall, uh, and it says, uh, let's see, this figure represents a beer's performance relative to all beers on an adjusted uh, percentile basis. Um, and then the style is 67. So uh, it's an imperial stout. They have it as an imperial. They say serving a, sif a, a snifter. So, and it's seasonal, available in autumn. They have the calories at 258 and the ABV at 8.6. Um, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, and those ratings are out of a uh, 309. So, and when you go to um, Southern Tier's website, by the way, love their website. And you might or might not know why if you follow me long enough. It's because, god damn it, they don't have that age. BS on there. I mean, just skip it, would you? You know what I'm saying? Love it. I, I was able to get right to the website, right to the beer. It was great. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why screw around with all that stuff? You know what I'm saying? But they have a bunch of stuff here on the on on the side. Pretty much everything in the middle is the same thing I just told you about, with the exception that one of their pairings is they say try it as a float. And if you've never had a beer float before, 
this sounds like a perfect beer for it. And they say try a big scoop of organic vanilla ice cream uh, or with a big uh, slice of carrot cake. And if you're going to do the carrot cake, do yourself a favor and go to Sam's or Costco. I prefer Costco. But do yourself a favor and go to Sam's or Costco. They both have fantastic cakes, and especially carrot cakes because I've had both of them. And, uh, you know, if you're going to have ice cream, vanilla ice cream, it doesn't have to be organic, man. Come on. But, you know, get some of that real good high, what do you call it, butter fat ice cream. You know, the high fat content ice cream. That way it's really, oh, it's just so smooth and so good, right? And then you 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 you, you, you put your um, you put your beer first and then very easily put your darn scoop of vanilla ice cream in there because the minute you put your ice cream in there, it's... Uh, you know, you're going to start to have the, the mess on your hands, right? But if you put it in there real easily, if you've never had a beer float before, uh, it'll it'll definitely go a lot easier. So um, give that a shot if you've never done a beer float. And, and, and it sounds like this would be a perfect beer for it. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it is uh, – what do we say here? Burr, burr, burr. Yeah, 8.6%. Uh, says moderate carbonation, pumpkin spice, uh, pumpkin pie spice and roasted malts. Uh, the flavor is pumpkin pie laced with coffee and dark chocolate, smooth, velvety mouthfeel, and finishes slightly sweeter than pumpkin. So, hearing a lot of things about this year's pumpkin and even last year's pumpkin, I haven't tried either one because. I'm not in the southern tier region, so um, southern tier beers have to get sent to me, which is very cool. And I thank you very much, my friend. Um, <clears throat> so let's dig in, man. Let's get right to it. You know, the only problem with doing these uh, live hangouts like this is I don't have the timer that w I would if I was on YouTube. So I don't really know how much time has elapsed except for to look at my own clock, and I don't know how accurate that is to the time that I started, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's see if we get smoke, bro. Let me put my keyboard up. I don't have, uh, okay, let's see if we get smoke, man. Oh, yeah! Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, let's see if we can pour smoke, bro. Nice. A little bit. We poured a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And and for those of you, I man, I get all kinds of crazy comments. Listen. Yeah, smoke. Yeah, okay. And and, and and you know, it doesn't it doesn't add to anything except for the cool factor, bro. Come on, man. It looks cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the main thing here, right? It looks cool. You know, if something looks cool, then it tastes better. It just, come on, duh. <laughs> what did Magic Johnson say the other day? Duh. <laughs> anyway, man. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can smell. Um, it, it does smell sweet, and it does smell very bready and very uh, little coffee. Uh, I'm, I am getting some pumpkin. Not as much as I thought I would, though, to tell you the truth. I thought I would get tons of pumpkin. I mean, the way they're talking about it, um, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like the last, and the last time I had pumpkin was a while back. Um, I don't know. I, I am getting some pumpkin and some spice, but, God, not a whole lot. I'm getting more just mild pumpkin uh, smell, uh, mild spice smell, and more just kind of imperial stout. You know what I'm saying? More, It's more imperial stout with a little pumpkin and a little spice to it. You know what I'm saying? But, whoo, the, the, the maltiness, the breadiness... The um, oh, it it smells insane. It it really does. It smells really good though. Mm. <sighs> that is pretty goddamn good, right? <laughs> Dude, right? Go get you some of this. I'm saying, man. I mean. <clears throat> Don't crush it like that, though. I'm a pro. All right? <laughs> Man, that is good. Whoo! 
I, oh, man, I tell you, man, uh, my boy over there in New York that sent this to me, <clears throat> he hooked me up, man, because this is good. Look at the head on that beer for one. Perfect. I love that nice little, what is that, maybe half inch? Half inch head on there. It's perfect. <clears throat> nice, beautiful tan color. The, the bubbles are kind of big in it. Oh, man. Okay. The smell isn't quite like the taste, though. You, you do get all those same flavors in the taste. Some of you guys probably wonder because you're like, how in the hell do you taste anything when you chug it like that? I do, right? Like, I taste it. That's just me, right? Like, I taste it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good. <laughs> Trust me, man. Okay? You do get tons of pumpkin when you're tasting it, okay? It, I don't smell. I'm not smelling as much pumpkin as I tasted. How how that pulls off, I don't know, but <clears throat> no charge. Mm. Oh, man, that is some chocolatiness. Um, God, that is good. That is, this is good, man. <clears throat> Suggestion. Okay, those of you longtime followers, you know, if you got to have one, you got to have six beer. This, since it's a bomber, I would say if you got to have one, you got to have two. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be getting too crazy. Don't be getting six and say I said to have six. Because this is what, what 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 was it? 8.6%, man. So don't, uh, I ain't going nowhere tonight. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. But uh, this is this is fantastic, man. This was perfect for right now because uh, you guys know I take a lot of pictures and I'm doing tons of editing right now and I need I need a nice this I need this right now to finish editing so uh, man this is fantastic bro damn this is definite bing 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 two thumb up beer man you know what I'm saying whoo this is good <laughs> I would say that this I would say this is better than the pumpkin because this is an imperial stout. You know what I'm saying? Like the base of this is an imperial stout and heck I even forget what the uh pumpkin is really. What it's uh I'll look it up though, trust me. Boop -a -doo -a -doo, boop -a -doo. You guys can look it up with me. Uh <clears throat> Let me see. I, I even forget what the uh, takes a few seconds for all that to kick in, huh? Why, why is that? You know what? Yeah, I had this problem yesterday. I was trying to, I shared a screen and then I was trying to do it again, and for some reason, Google Plus was like, "Nope." Yeah, and that's pretty much doing the same thing right now too. Okay, so you just have to trust me. Uh, um, Pumpkin, there it is. I get, I guess pumpkin's just a stout, right? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Getting hold the horse. I know there's some people going. Ah, ah, trust me, it's that. You know, no, no, it'd be okay, man. Just chill. It's just a beer. Relax, relax. <laughs> Settle down, Beavis. <laughs> Okay, man. Some people take this shit too serious, man. <laughs> Damn, man. Relax, man. Hey, that's why we're beer people and not wine people. You know, wine people get all in a tissy over stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, just chill. Relax. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, let's see. It just says pumpkin ale. But I think it's, is it considered a stout? <laughs> Let me see a picture of the bottle here. I think it's I think it's considered a stout. No, let me go to rate beer. Rate rate beer seems to be a little <clears throat> better at this sort of thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it just said spice spiced beer. Hmm. It's whew, won a crap load of awards, though I know that. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, I th I think it's a. St it says imperial, so it just must be an imperial pumpkin, an imperial pumpkin beer. But, uh, the ABV is pretty up there. So, 
Yeah, it must be an, just. I think they consider it an imperial. In any case, I I think I like this one better. From what I remember of the pumpkin, uh, I think I remember. Uh, uh, I think I like this one better uh, because it's it's uh, an imperial stout base. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna stick by that. Screw it. <laughs> So you all can put all your comments down there. Hey, by the way, man, you know, hey, if you completely disagree, you know, with me, that is fine, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I always say, man, you know, no matter what I say, get out there and try it yourself, man, because you might, we all are different, and you might, you know, hey, I like bread and butter pickles, man. You might like dill pickles. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, Right? Yeah, to me, dill pickles, you know, but, hey, to you, they might, they're the bomb, right? Screw it. So it's the, <clears throat> it's the same difference, man. I mean, we all don't like the same crap. So that's why I encourage everybody, no matter what I say, no matter how many, we might have had 20 beers and felt the same about all of them. That 21st beer is the one that it's like, man, that beer sucks. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, ah, Joe, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, I might not, according to that beer for your taste buds. You know what I'm saying? But uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Greg says he likes it. He likes it better too. Cool. Um, but just get out there and try the beers yourself. You know what I'm saying? And and if you disagree with me, I I welcome the opinions because that's what this is all about. This is all about a discussion on beer, man. So if you disagree. Put your opinions down there, man. Put it in the comments, man. Side, wherever the hell they put them these days. Put put it in the comments. Hey, man, that beer blows. You know what I'm saying? And, and I welcome it. Really, I do. I, I the, Yeah, there's only been one time in all the years I've been doing this that uh, that I can think of I've ever bounced somebody. I, 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 I don't do it. It's, you know, uh, I, I welcome all opinions, so... You know, because it's the virtual pub, man. Hey, we go to a pub and we have a beer. We all don't agree on everything. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, dude, you got onions on your burger? What the F, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? And I'm like, yeah, oh, I got oh, onions oh, on my burger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> Right, I'm like, give me extra onion, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, man, I'm out, man. Thanks, Greg, for your comment. I appreciate it, bro. Um, but yeah, no, I think I definitely like this better than the regular pumpkin, and, and that's my reasons why. Um, so you guys let me know your opinions. We'll see you around, man. Hopefully the next year, beer. <laughs> all right, man, peace out.